Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part six of the Scum Handbook. And yeah, to, in part six, we're going to choose a base building location because in the big city, I collected scrap metal from the cars. I collected dirty rags from the puppets. So I've got 10 rags. I've got 10 scrap metal. I've got bolts. I've got the toolbox. And that's basically what we're going to need to place down our flag and claim our land. Okay, so we've got everything that we need for the flag. And then while I'm running across the map because I want to go get this Leica. Yes, I will see if there's other Leicas, guys. But for now, I want to go get the Leica that I know where it is, okay? Which is two and a half sectors, which is not that bad. Um, and I'm going to search through the garages over here because I think the Leica here needs a battery. So I'm going to search through these garages and these garages. And then... Worst, if worst comes to worst, we're going to go through the megs to try and get to these two vehicle repair shops here, where I do feel I'll definitely get a um, car, you know, a car battery, or otherwise I might go there. I mean, but this is our destination, but I mean, we could go um, to the vehicle repair shops in the northern quarry. Um, but yeah, that's my only mission, to go through, find a nice open space for the base, get the vehicle, and then the main um, goal for today is bunker training. And to start with bunker training, we're going to do the three coolest bunkers in SCUM, which each has three armories in it, which will be bunker number B1, bunker B3, and bunker A3, okay? So we're going to do the bunker in B1, which is down here, the bunker in B3, which is here, and then the bunker in A3, which is here. And each of them have three armories, guys, so a very good chance to find really good military equipment. And then, of course, the coolest cat out of them all is the, C is the C2 bunker, which, in my opinion, is the biggest bunker. But that's what we're going to be doing today, some bunker busting. So get ready for that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found the battery, which is very, 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 very good. Now I'm just going to have to prioritize what I'm willing to drop. I can literally just drop this, guys. But a part of me does want to drop it. Okay, and when a part of me does want to drop it, a part of me doesn't want to drop it. It's as simple as that. So, we're going to have to make space worth. We're going to have to make space worth. Yes, I know that jacket looks dumb, guys, but I want that jacket. But in any case, there's the battery. Let's, do we need this right now? Uh, whatever, drink it rather than waste it. So, yeah, guys, we've got a battery. Which is good. Very, very good. And yeah, we've got the perfect build. We've got the perfect build, so we don't need to worry about anything. We do, we, do, we do need a car jack. Okay, we definitely need a car jack. But okay, we've got the battery, so now we need a car jack. According to a lot of people, car jacks are found in vehicles. Which it could be, I'm not arguing with it. Cars, jacks inside of cars. Is a really, really good. Oh my word, there's another battery. Really doing good with the batteries, guys. Like I said, I knew it was just about, just about timing and luck, you know, and good things like that. But in any case, we still need a car jack. And we found it in the first town that we came looking in. This nice big town. But yeah, we're going to need a car jack as well. So I'm going to start looking in the cars for that, shall we? What would you guys know? We found a like at the back of the city. It's got both the seats. 
got the boot. Just hasn't got a bonnet, which is fine. Doesn't have a battery. Comes with a battery. This is awesome, man. Let's see. Let's see what what is too good to be true here. It's got fuel. Can start. Oh my man, here we go. Here we go. Gotta like it. Gotta like it. It's fantastic, man. You always just find always just find a boot. Or buy a car jack because I'm trying to find a car jack, guys. We're gonna fuel it up. We've gotta like it. Let's go. Okay, here we are. I always like choosing new base building locations, guys, and sticking to my rules on my server. I'm sure this is roughly about 300 meters away from that town. Um, yeah, I do think so. I do think so. It's on the other side of this river. I think on the other side of this river is safe because that should be safe. So yeah, just on the other side of this town, underneath the river, there's my little patch of water. My tree line, my tree line here. <clears throat> I can go further that way. If I want to be a bit safer, I can build there. Just to be sure I'm clear of that and that area. But I'm sure I'm fine here. And yeah, I just like this. I just like this patch. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is get the toolbox out of the vehicle. Okay. And then I'm going to go to flag. And I want to position this flag nicely. Want to position the flag nicely. Okay. I'm going to build a massive base, guys. Just a homely base. Okay. I will make videos on how to build a base that can't be raided. But for now, I just want a homely base. You know, just a homely base. So I'm going to build it a bit further in this way. Bit further in this way. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it this side. Just like that. And then I should have enough scrap metal on me, so I'm gonna press shift F to add the scrap scrap metal on the bolts and the toolbox. And then I'm just going to uncraft two bundles of rags. There we go. That's as easy as that is, guys. Not that hard. 10 rags from puppets, 10 scrap metal from cars, plus two bolts, plus a toolbox that you can craft. That's a flag, okay? We have claimed this land now, and we will build a base here at some point. But as promised, this is now that we're going to focus on the three bunkers today okay but before we focus on the three bunkers um we're just going to create a, a point here quickly where we can respawn at and that shouldn't be too difficult so this is a rope and a log okay this this shouldn't be too difficult guys one tree bark rope okay so we're just going to make a place where we can respawn for now okay just a rough place so that I can show you guys how that what that looks like on the map. So this is a respawn point. Okay, what we're making now is a re respawn point. The shelter is a respawn point, and the improvised bed is a respawn point, and then of course the bottom, you know, the bottom bed is a respawn point, guys. So these are respawn points, which 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 will show as an H on the map once you once you're done building it, okay. So this is just sticks in a log. So all I'm gonna do is I think I've got a metal saw on me. Yeah, just gonna get to the closest tree here quickly. Cut down the tree. And this is very easy to do, guys. 
The closet tree gives you logs and branches. Do not stress about this at all. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this log. Just carry it here. You can drag it over with a with a fancy way. I'm just literally gonna drop it there. And then I'm gonna come pick up this branch. I'm gonna carry the branch here. Many more efficient ways to do it than this. I'm just showing you guys the basics so you don't complicate it for yourself. Get it so that the stick's pointing the right way. Chop up this. Chop down one long stick because I've got the saw to make a rope. Crafted the rope. Now we're just gonna go shift F. It needs let me see. It needs more short sticks. I've got short sticks here. Bam. There it is, guys. One tree. Okay, one tree. Not too complicated. Now, if we go to the map, you will see that there's an H there. As I'm running away. Right there where I made the shelter. There's an H. H for headquarters. H for bed. That's where I can respawn. So that you need the H to to use the shelter respawn. To respawn at a shelter. So if I pick now, if I die and I go shelter, it's going to let me respawn here. Okay, of course, a bed is a little bit easier to craft. Okay. Um, yeah. Just a tree bark rope, three long sticks and four dirty rags. Okay, even easier. You can do that anywhere. Just remember, whenever you craft a new one, the old one doesn't count anymore. Okay, so if I make a bed, if I make a bed inside my base, that's going to be where I respawn, not this anymore. I can ignore this. Okay. Okay, that is it. So let me make a chest quickly. Yeah, I think I'm just going to craft a chest now. Yes, we need to bury chests if we're going to do it professionally. Okay, I'm not going to do it very professionally. I'm just going to get. Well, six, well, six nails shouldn't be that difficult. So I'm just going to make a chest here quickly. We need 10 planks, which is basically three of these. Okay, now I'm gonna have to do it the, the fancy way. Okay. A little bit faster to move three logs like this. So I'm dragging it from the inventory screen because it's not, because I can't see it. If I can see it, then I can just drag it like this. If I can see it, I can drag it like this. Okay. I can drag it around like this. Once I see it, I can drag it around like this, or I can drag it from here. Okay. Just because behind me, I'm dragging it from the inventory above. Okay, and then we need six and two, which is fine. So I'm gonna chop this up quickly. Okay, then we've got the improvised wooden chest, which is a little bit bigger than the other one. Okay, 
And we can put in here whatever we want to put in here. Okay. Again, we can just clear out the closet. Okay. To save some space. Um, on a multiplayer server, you're going to hide this. Okay. You want to hide this. But again, you know, um, just clearing out most of the junk. Anything that you're going to use for crafting, you want to bring here in any case. Okay. So anything I'm going to use for crafting. And again, I don't want to keep... Yeah, that's... Don't want to keep more than six screwdrivers on me. For obvious reasons. Okay. Um, would like to keep a toolbox on me. Just so that I can repair. Um, repair the sword a little bit. Yeah, the sword's going to need re repairing. I'll show you guys how to repair that. And yeah, just, you know, just all the odd ones that we're not going to use. Going to take out here. There is six screwdrivers, so we don't need any more. We're not going to... Okay, we've got a lot of screwdrivers at the moment, guys. So I think, okay, I think we're going to start looking for the key card now. Okay? If we're going to do a bunker, what the heck? Let's focus on the key cards. We've got a lot of screwdrivers now. We've got more than 50 screwdrivers. So looking... You know, looking for a key card is not that bad. Not that bad at all. Okay? So we can bury bury this. We can put it in the car. Yeah? We can do what we want. We're in a single player. Uh, but like I said, I would, I would probably put it in the car. Okay? And again, a chest is a movable item. So you can go put it in the car very easily. And remember that when somebody raids you, don't have to don't have all your loot in the in these. Won't be too good for you. So putting everything in there. Put that there. And then I can just put everything in the chest. Can have the fuel here at the top. Can all have all these unnecessary things in here. Okay, then I can put the chest in there. And now let's get to the B1 bunker, shall we? Let's quickly remind ourselves why cargo drops are so important, guys. Let's refresh our memory here with the cargo drop landing on us as per usual. But we've got everything we need to open it, so let's do it. Lucky packet number one. Broad edge carbon arrows. I thought someone said we can get that again, eh? Somebody said we can get that again. I wonder who that was. And then we get a Kodak bow, which isn't too bad. We can sell that. Mm. Take all of this out. Reinforced locks. That is 45 padlocks. Either you go and, go and look for 45 padlocks at a dangerous bunker, or you do a cargo drop. Rubber gloves with a respirator. A chainsaw. Oh, that's going to make base building lovely. Lovely, baby. What a pleasure, man. What a pleasure. What a pleasure. What other goodies do you have for us? Oh, rubber gloves. Another electronic kit. Which we might have dropped last time because we don't have space for it. This time we are going to have space for it. Going to ignore that completely. And a grenade. Which is always fun. We can't sell the bow. So I'm going to take the bow. 
And we're gonna put these two silencers on the bow. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I can carry whatever I can carry, guys. Bands. That's enough. And now we've got our very, very strong broad eight carbon arrows back. Fantastic. Let's get to the bunker. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the first great bunker, B1, and we've got our vehicle here. Very important when you climb out of vehicle, you leave the door open. So make sure you leave the, leave the door closed. Now that we've got all four doors on it, I'm going to drag the enforced lock to the car, okay? And like this, from my inventory to the car, I'm going to lock car, okay? Now only me and my squad can enter this vehicle, okay? Because it's got all its doors on. So it's at least secured, so it has to be get lockpicked. And now, I'm gonna, what I've got on my computer is all the bunker maps from scum maps, from scum map, you know, scum-map.com. From scummap.com. Okay, that's where I get all my plans. And community member of mine, Warmonk, has created all those maps. So, we're going to go with B1, we're going to open B1, and I'll um, give you guys the overlay of the bunker, if I remember to add the overlay, which I usually forget. Um, but in any case, when we come into the entrance, there's almost going to be nothing straight ahead of us. The first left we can take is going to give us an armory, the first right we can take is going to give us an armory. So, we're going to go left immediately... As we enter the bunker, we're going to go left and then right immediately. Or we can take the back entrance, which isn't that bad. If we take the back entrance, then we're just going to run straight until we can go right and right. Okay? So I think we're going to take the back entrance and then we're just going to go until the dead end and then right and right. We're just going to go right twice. Okay? And that's what we're going to do to find all three armories. So let's get going. So, usually a bunker has got a front entrance and a back entrance. Both are usually protected by a meg. The thing is that you must always try and decide where is the most amount of cover for you. Okay? So I'm just going to check right here what's going on around here. And I must probably try and find the hatch on my own. Although I usually, usually I go in the front here, guys. But there is a hatch here somewhere. So we're just gonna the the meg, the back meg, usually usually protects the back hatch. So this meg at the back of the bunker is probably gonna defend it. They always use the same route. Don't move when you're close to them. And when you're in a bush or behind a bush, they can't see you. Okay, so since he came from this side, I'm going to quickly see what he's protecting here. And just go from one bush to another bush. There we go. Okay, so there we see what he's protecting. <coughs> Definitely want to sort out these puppets. You can shoot the puppets while he's here. Like I say, just don't make a noise. Just don't make a noise when he's close to you. That's not good. Like we know he's going to walk past us, so we're going to allow him to walk past us. Just make sure you're never in his path, because you will... He will step on you and kill you immediately. And we're just going to open this door. Make sure we're not in his, in his vision. We would have been in his vision cone there, guys. We would have been in his vision cone there. Which we don't want to do. 
So we're gonna climb down now. And then we're gonna close the hatch. Okay, so I've showed you guys how to find the back hatch. The, the Meg usually, or the sentry usually protects it. Now we're gonna have to sort these guys out and we're gonna use our training for that. I'm not moving fast enough. Like I was on walking speed, not running speed, but that's fine. We still sorted them out. Okay, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go to the armories for now, guys. I'm gonna show you where to find the the main gear. Okay, all of this is military gear. Okay, all of this is military military gear. Fantastic loot. We're gonna use this, these arrows because these arrows are overpowered. Not versus puppets, they're overpowered. So we're just gonna go straight. We said we were gonna go straight and right. Okay, we said we were gonna go straight and right. So we're going straight. Straight. That's the sound of a beeper. You don't want to get close to a beeper. It does take them about 45 seconds. I don't know if one's up, up, above me. It sounds like one of them is above me. So we were going to go straight and then right. Okay. So here we are at the first armory. And you guys can see, bulletproof vest, military, military, okay? But now we're actually going to look for a key card. Now, we, well, now we're doing some serious stuff, okay? We're going to open these lockers because we're actually going to look for a key card. So, going to get my bobby pins out. It's going to be three lockers in total, or three armories. Every armory is going to have four lockers. So I'm going to have to unlock 12 lockers, which I'm going to do right now. There are other extra lockers that I can open up. But for now, I'm just going to focus on, on the lockers in the armories, okay? Which is the best place to find military loot. And you guys might say, Lutaias, you you shot you shot puppets up there with the uh, with your cool carbon broadhead arrows. Yeah, but the broadhead arrows just cost fifty bucks, fifty bucks an arrow, guys. And with the, with with our knowledge, with our knowledge that we have, we can get that back quite easily. Okay, so we're gonna unlock these lockers and see if we can get lucky with a key card, ammo, sniper rifle. A lot of times we're gonna get nothing, but it's always a surprise, and you can get really good loot in here. And of course, we're leveling up our thievery skill while we're doing this, which is also good. Okay, nothing there. Now, we said we were gonna keep on going right, or just straight, okay, so we're gonna keep on going straight. you guys see with this bow i don't have a problem anymore distance doesn't matter anymore with a good bow okay like i told you guys better the poundages the less you're gonna have to aim or judge height or whatever and even if you shoot a person with this in the leg guys not in the chest you shoot him in the leg he's gonna be in trouble okay so here's the second armory 
exactly how we planned it. Gonna get a helmet here. Make space for the helmet. Gonna get a gun. We can sell that gun. It's good money. We can sell that. That's good as well. Okay, gonna search these. So now we're now we're in the serious mode, guys. We are in serious mode now. <laughs> and serious mode is exactly what it sounds like. It's serious. Okay. Very, 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 very serious. It's time to get serious. Okay. Um, so we're gonna need loot space for this. Let's see if we can put this somewhere. We can put that, we can put that there. And then, yep, put this here. And this is where the good stuff is, guys. This is where you're gonna get killed a lot. So let's see what we can find in the second armory of B1. A key card for Z4. Just like we said. Key card immediately. Gonna open up this one. Wonder what's happening in the next part of the next part of the handbook, guys. I wonder what's happening. We're gonna do a kill box, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nothing else interesting except the key card, which is extremely interesting. Which is the jackpot, guys. It's a jackpot. The jackpot. Okay, so now we're going to go down. The other armory, because of the scum dash map, I know the next armory is down there. Okay. And we can do a quick breakdown of, of a bunker. Okay. Of course, we now know what's the most important place in the bunker is the armory. Then we get these places over here with food. You know, it's like... Uh, storage room okay where you can find food inside mainly for food all of these is armory screwdrivers you can get yellow screwdrivers you can get all kinds of loot here and these give you various loots as well at the moment these places are focusing on giving you the hazmat gear and the, this door with only the one hazmat sign on just gives you the the potassium and like a hazmat suit the other the other locker with two hazmat signs on with two radiation symbols on with with more solid doors has got the radiation suit in. but it's worth searching here as well because this is where you're going to start and i yes i can lock pick this guys but we're not focusing on this yet Okay, we're taking it one step at a time. And as you guys can see, even though we're doing it one step at a time, we are progressing at, at, a, at a very, very nice speed. Okay? So it's not as if we've got any speed issues here. And like I say, you just want to loot this, medical equipment, base equipment, base parts. Okay? Um, there's a Giga counter for the radiation zone, which we're going to need later. Rubber bands is crafting material, okay? We're not going to focus on the crafting material now. I just want to show you this where you get crafting material. Another hiking backpack, okay? And that's why a lot of people love running here because they can find a hiking backpack from the start, okay? Again, you can find bobby pins in the desks, okay? Bobby pins in the desks and... Um, that is a nicer, and remember the scissors is always great to get as much rags as you can. These medical lockers gives you um, gives you basic gives you a basic um, iron lock to go through, but we're not going to do it, okay? For medical equipment, we're rather going to save all the screwdrivers now for the for the kill box, okay? That we're going to do in the next part. Like I say, just a lot of crafting material here, so these these are a must, okay? If you're asking me, these are a must. Of course, we triple triple carrying, which we already spoken about. Okay. 
And I just want to show you guys the office. The offices are great for... I know where the next armory is, guys. Here's the other armory. Okay, this is where you can find food. So this is for food. Screwdrivers and stuff. You can get MREs inside here. Food, clothing, raincoats, water. Okay? Armory is for military loot. This is for medical and screw and and um, metal needles. Okay, the needles that you need to make zappers with. This is where you're gonna find them most of the time. Okay, metal needles you'll always find in the medical rooms in a bunker, guys. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of things you can find here all around. Okay, night vision. Night vision is very, very important in these kinds of silver containers, okay? These silver little rockers here, okay, are very, very good for night vision. Now we've got extra night vision again. Now we have to choose, prioritize some things because we can't prioritize everything, okay? So, just going to throw away that scrap metal. I'm going to take the night vision. That's going to sell for money. Okay. So, never forget these guys. Never forget these guys. These guys are great in the bunker. And these are just hallways. I don't fear the poppers now. I just want to show you. I just want to show you guys officer, officers. Officers. <laughs> Like I say, with this with this bow, I don't fear many things. And again, padlocks, padlocks, guys, padlocks, padlocks is how you craft, craft and enforce lock. You need advanced, advanced engineering and 15 padlocks and a toolbox. We got three of them. Okay, medical equipment, everything that I told you about medical equipment. Okay, place. Bathrooms, good for food, um, screwdrivers, and clothing, okay? Also a place that I like to come in for clothing and guns. You have to open up all the doors and put yourself here at the beginning. Just walk through to see if you see anything in your vicinity. Do not skip bathrooms, guys. Bathrooms can give you very, very nice surprises. And I'm still just looking for a office quickly. Not care. I don't care about the arrows. Okay. Another medical room. Yeah, I just want to check. I just want to check my map. I want to check my map. Where are the offices? Labs. Okay, the labs are by the armories. Then we've got the two medical rooms. Control room. Examination room. So those are the two labs. That's the kill box. Control room. Office. Oh, this one's got no offices, guys. This, bu this bunker has got no offices. Okay? So that's fine. We're just going to go to the third. We're just we're quickly going to go to the third. Um, we're quickly going to go to the third armory. Which is here. Okay. Oh. Got a point three oh eight suppressor. That's some money right there. That's definitely some money right there. Okay. Go search everything. Money, money, money. Pick these four quickly. Oh, a drum magazine for the AK, which is great. I'll just load it onto the AK right now. Fantastic. Okay. 
And yeah, guys, you never want to bring the hunter in here. The hunter is to level up. You don't bring a hunter into uh, into a dangerous point of interest like a bunker. Okay? Hunter is for leveling up. Hunter is not for PvP action. We have just entered a PvP zone. Okay? Very, very, very important to re remember that. And now we just want to go out the way we came in. So we went right, right. So what we're going to do now is do left, left. We go left. And we should find the stairs right now. And we go left and we should have the stairs right above us here. Okay, to exit the stairs, again, just take your time. Although we did drop the bow there. Okay, I'm coming back for the go for the bow, guys. I'm coming back for the bow. No, I'm not. No, I'm not coming back for the bow. So in third person, you can see as it's coming, but you need to be at the top level. You can't stay at the top level, otherwise he's going to see you. I can go into the bush. Make sure the bush is between you and him. You should be safe. Make sure you're far away from him when you run. Because there's two ways of him detecting you with sound or vision. Normally I put a blueprint down, guys, for where I hide the car. And we didn't do that now. But I did park the car quite close, so that shouldn't be an issue. And we're going to go deal with the Meg again. Because there's nothing, there's nothing pressurizing me. Okay, gonna put everything in the car. Absolutely everything. Every single thing that takes up space. You know, carrying too much, that was that was a mistake. Carrying too much was clearly a mistake. We've got what we need for the kill box because of the cargo drops. The cargo drops was the most important here. And yeah, now that I know what the Meg's route is, I'm not going to go into the left. I'm going to go into the right because I know exactly what the Meg's route is. So I know the Meg comes to the corner here. And now I want to follow the Meg out okay exactly know where those puppets came from <laughs> I 
need the bow. I need the bow. I need the bow. Yeah, guys, that was rough. That was very, very rough. But in any case, we survived. Let's see what our injuries are. Any major injuries? No. All the injuries are going to heal. Okay. But I'm going to see you guys the next bunker because I am just going to heal now. They beat the poop out of me. Going to have to repair my clothing because that's very, very, very bad. But yeah, that's the one thing about climbing downstairs. Eh? Not a lot of control, guys. Not a lot of control. Okay? I mean, you're not really going to play on a lot, of, a lot of servers like this, but that is definitely a, that's definitely an example of stairs <laughs> where we don't really have a lot of control on what we are entering. And we don't have a lot of control over our character. When we drop down. Okay, they're on top of us immediately. Yes, we can throw a grenade down there. What? For puppets? We're gonna throw a grenade down somewhere for puppets. So that's the B1. Okay. Now the other two armories, other two bunkers with three armories are uh, is B3 and A3. So we're gonna go to B3 and then we're gonna do A3. Okay, just parked close to the gas station, and whenever I get to a gas station that has got quite a bit of fuel, I'm going to be utilizing that fuel. So that I don't run out of fuel, ever. Ready killed everyone, yeah? As you guys can see, these gas pumps are full. Whenever you get to gas pumps that are full, don't waste them. Okay, don't waste them at all. Close this. I'm gonna take out my two gas canisters here. I'm gonna fill up my tank. Pull this gasoline canister. Put it back in the car. Put that back in the car. We can get bigger ones later. But yeah, never run out of gas, guys. Never run out of gas. Okay, guys. I'm just trying to get that... Um, car jack that i'm looking for okay i'm here in the northern quarry and in one of these red in one of these red toolboxes we've got another yellow screwdriver okay so i am looking for a car jack but i'm getting a lot of stuff nails scrap metal building material wire cutter that i'm going to need for the kill box okay like i say anytime you loot wasting time isn't really uh isn't really a thing when you're looting. I mean, when you're looting with this, when you're looting with good gear, like a carbon broadhead arrow, then everything starts getting a lot easier. And like I said, I'll take on a puppet and a player with this. I'll take in on anything like this, guys. A uh, puppet or a player.
And like I say, every time you loot, it can be a lucky packet. You can never have enough scrap metal for base building. You're going to need a lot of scrap metal for base building. No, but everywhere you search, you never know if you're going to find something. And if I can't find the car jack, I'm going to buy the car jack. It's as simple as that. Well, looks like we're going to buy the car, Jack. Get him in cars. I've searched a few cars, guys. Car, Jack is difficult to find. Okay, let's just say that. So, let's get to what bunker is closest to us. The A3. Let's do the A3 quickly. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the A3 bunker. I always go in the from the west side. I always go through the front door. But I'm thinking the front door was just not a good idea for you guys. So I'm going to see if this entrance is a little bit easier. Okay. So we're going to try and open up something here for us. These guys are standing on top of. They're standing on top of the entrance. Okay, so now the Meg's walking that way. I just want to see if there's a bush here that will help. Okay, got rid of that one. Okay. So at face value, not a difficult one to get into. Okay, the front entrance is a little bit complicated to get into. But again, you don't want to stand in the gap. He can see you through the gaps. He just wants to protect the inside of the gate. But if you stand there in the opening, you're going to be in trouble. Okay, so now we just... Oh, no. want to follow him with jogging running is not going to be a good idea so he literally walks over this thing and then he goes that way oh my word Okay, guys, I didn't know he was going to turn around there on us, okay? According to me, he was going to turn left because that's what his route looks like. But I was seriously mistaken. And now we're going to have to use that sector, that sector respawn. Make sure we're in A3 and respawn in the sector. Okay, so we were very, very wrong there. We can open up. We're not too far away. There's the bunker over there. gonna look that way holding W that way although the wind is taking us very very far away but we want to go down that gravel road so it's a press wind is very very badly against us here yeah the wind just wants to take us that way guys so we'll be back now Okay, right, guys, I'm back, and I just want to see what happened here, okay? That's more what I'm interested in. Okay, so that's where we want to be. That's where our body is. Definitely want the suicide puppet to see us. Want to get the suicide puppet away from our body. But yeah, I just want to know where I went wrong with this route. That's quite important to me. We 
Okay, now we're going to see what his root looks like. We want that exploded to explode first. He will explode at some point. Okay, so he walks to us. Then he walks up. Then he walks up. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So it looks like we got him a bit wrong then. Wanna get these two puppets away again. He heard us. He heard us there. He heard us there. Wanna get these two puppets away from our bodies? Then I'm just going to go to my body here quickly. Get into the bush. Because I know I'm safe in the bush. Okay, that wasn't planned he clearly saw us going in there guys just have to adapt to the situation and not freak out okay clearly our pistol holster is broken no it's not can't repair that past that point As soon as something passes the 25% durability mark, you can't repair it further than 50%, guys. Okay, now I'm, I don't know why he saw me there. I've got no idea. No idea why he saw me there. Yo, now, now this entrance doesn't seem so easy, guys. Now it doesn't really seem so easy. He's gonna turn right there. Doesn't re it really doesn't seem easy to me. But yeah, we're gonna do a front entrance. That's why. That's why you guys will always see me enter a bunker in the front, okay? But yeah, we're gonna just do the armories. So we're gonna go back to the map. Um, the A3. So we're gonna go down here, and then we're just gonna take the stairs, and we're gonna stay right. We're gonna take the stairs and stay right, okay? Take the stairs and stay right. Am 
I say on a quiet server, guys, you won't have a problem with poppers down here. But yeah, you have to be quite quick on your feet. You have to be quite quick on your feet there, okay? So again, we're just gonna take the stairs. Okay, I just soldier on, guys. I'm a soldier. I don't let small things like that take me back. So, okay, we're gonna take the stairs, yeah? Definitely so gonna take the stairs. So stairs are supposed to be close here. Yeah? Now they're supposed to be the stairs. Now I'm gonna see if I've got more nine more ammo. Does look like it. No bow ammo. Okay, we're gonna have to do it the sword way. Okay. We're gonna go right here. Doors are gonna block you from hitting them. Don't worry about that. Here's the first armory. We're gonna get into the safe space. Okay, before we start stressing, let's get that. We can sell that, doesn't matter. Oh, my man. My brother from another mother. There we go. M82, guys. That's when things come together, right? Eh? Now we've all of a sudden got something happening here. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like something bad with all these sounds coming through here. So I just want to see how bad it does look. <laughs> so going to keep the timing right. Yes, I'm taking a chance here. I want you guys to heal. But time is of the essence, okay? So we're gonna find the other armory here. Armory, armory, okay? That's why I'm, that's why I'm taking a rush, or rushing it. Can't repair this thing past 50% anymore. So okay, I'm gonna repair, I'm gonna replace it with this thing so long. Yes, I'll buy a new one of the one that I like, okay? But for now, I'm replacing it with this one. And now I can repair that one. Need a toolbox to repair the armor, which we will. We will do that. Hoping to find some nine more, yeah? And I want to get um, a bobby pin box. And I'm going to get a bobby pin box in here, okay? Nothing in here. There we go, nine more. Okay, now we can relax. Now we can relax, guys. That's all we needed. Okay. That's all we needed. Now we can now we can chill. Now we can chill. Okay. So now let's go. Take that magazine. Load that one. Nine more priceless, guys. Nine more is priceless. Arrows are priceless as well. But I mean, I'm just showing you guys here the worst kind of situation that you can get. But yeah, guys, I know a lot of people like taking the back entrances. There are situations where the back entrances are the are better. But yeah. I don't have any surprises with the other entrances. Okay. Hmm. So now we're going to go through here. We're going to come to an office. 
Okay, we're going to come to an office because an office mm. is the main place that I wanted to show you. And there is one office here. Here is the one office. Okay, office. There it says office. This is a great place for clothing, weapons, padlocks. These little cardboard boxes here is where you get padlocks, guys. Okay, these offices are where you get padlocks. And padlocks is what you need to make a lot of, you know, make a lot of enforced locks. Rubber bands is what you're going to need to make a lot of lock protection at your base. Bobby pins is what you're going to need to do a kill box, of course. Okay. <laughs> Offices are fantastic, guys. Fantastic. So I don't want you to skip offices ever. Okay. They are just multitasking for a base in the best way possible. And this one place is more, more than enough for me. So I'm going to take out my um, 12 bobby pins and do those three lockers again. guys didn't find anything in those lockers okay so we're just gonna go out here and since we roughly understand his path it's fine but i'm thinking sprinting is a very very good idea yeah I'm thinking like running is a great idea for me. For me personally, running is a great idea. Okay, let's get back to the car and finalize it at V3. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are now at the B3 bunker. Okay, and I'm just going to open up my scam, scam plans again. So, how many? This B3 bunker has got no offices apparently so we're gonna enter in the front take the first door to our left yeah this okay so the two world war two the two armories are going to be upstairs and the one is going to be downstairs okay that's all we basically have to know one armory is downstairs the other two are upstairs okay but yeah i'm just going to show you guys going up for me is a lot simpler okay so this big here there's a meg there okay he's covering the front entrance and usually they just have a go to door and go away from door you know like this Usually you just go to door, go away from door. Which isn't that bad, you know? And then we can run from here. And if and if he does see us, we're already at the door. Which isn't that bad. Really isn't that bad. I just feel it's a lot more controllable. I don't know. I just personally feel it's a lot more controllable. I don't know why I feel that way. I just do. Then I can just go close the door now. Or I can lean. You can lean like this. Okay, you can lean into it. And then you'll still be able to, able to close the door. Usually when I hear beepers, guys, I just stand still. I just stand still.
have to be careful. Is the first armories on the first level. Get some food here if we can. Yeah, you know, like I like I say, guys, the first, the the front door is just I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just more straightforward. Okay. It's just more straightforward to me. But I mean, I haven't taken a lot of stairs. So maybe there's stairs pros. I'm just not a stairs pro. Okay. I'm a, I'm a front door pro. So here's the first armory. I always just press tab to see if there's anything in the vicinity. And now we'll just do them one room at a time. And as soon as you find a key card, don't worry, you can't find another one for another 48 hours in real life, okay? You or your clan can't find another key card for another 48 hours, and I'm not going to make it any more complicated than that for you. Otherwise, you guys are going to start thinking about things you shouldn't think of. So once you or a clan member finds a key card, not you or anyone else in your clan can find another key card for another 48 hours IRL. IRL. Okay. Okay, so we found the one on the first level. The other one will be on the second level. The other two will be on the second level. So we got the one here. Nothing in the vicinity. Yeah, going up the stairs there was a really, really nice idea. We're still going to see if we can find something, guys. Ammo, AWM would be fantastic. AWM is the best sniper rifle in the game. Sure of the M82, which we found in the previous place. Lucky packet. Four rounds. I like to find ammo boxes. Those are quite cool. Or guns. Guns that I can sell. That's fantastic as well. As 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 you guys will see, most of the time it's quiet, but when it's you know, if you find a gun in every tenth locker, that's a good that's a good strike rate, man. That's a really, really good strike rate. So I'm just gonna look at my scum map again. And according to my scum map, if this one is here, then the other one's on the opposite side of the top. Okay, opposite side of the top. So what I mean, if you guys are trying to figure out what the hell is he saying, I'm saying that if I go out of here, okay, if I go here, then there, that door there is where the other armory is supposed to be. And yes, there's a lot of loot up here. But this is where the other armory is supposed to be. And this is where the other armory is. As easy as that. And there we got all three armories. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we've just looted nine armories, guys. Nine armories. Not bad. Not bad for one round. Eh? Not bad for one round at all. What do you got? What kind of lockers is more exciting than armory lockers, guys? The cargo drop! 
The cargo drop is much better. You know, and then sometimes... Oh, I will loot this entire place, guys, if I didn't use the funds that we got. Okay, I would have looted this entire place, got fully decked out. You know, and just ripped everything a new one. Because I can. Okay, just rip everything a new one because I can. Okay? Because I can. See if there's some food here. Again, fun is the name of the game. Box, 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 box. One three combo. One two three combo. And a nine more gun, guys. You don't need anything else than a nine more gun. Okay? Nine more gun OP. Especially the SF19. SF19 OP. One two three. Does always work? But still a nice little combo. And now I want to get out of here. Yes, we can loot the entire place. But that's not what this is about. This is just about showing you guys a really, really cool place. Three cool places. Okay? Three cool places. B3, A3, and, B and B1. B1 bunker, a B3 bunker, A3 bunker. And then the C2 is, of course, the coolest bunker in the game. Okay, but we're gonna go get one more cargo drop. Okay, and then in part, in the next part, okay, I'm leaning into this corner now. I'm really leaning into this corner. I don't think it's gonna work. I really don't think it's gonna work. But I'm hoping for the best. It is working. It is working. I'm leaning into that corner and it's working. You see, guys, I'm, I, I'm leaning into it. And this is how I like to do things. You know? This is how I like to exit places. If he shoots at me here, I don't really care. I don't care. I feel good about it. Okay? feel good about the entry and the exit. I can fight. I don't like having my hands on a ladder. Okay? So now we're going to go to the traders. I think... Yeah. I think in the next part in the handbook, we are just going to... Start at the traders and prepare for the kill box. I'm quickly going to wait. I'm going to drive to the traders. And I'm going to wait for a cargo drop. Because we're doing a kill box next, guys. Whether we prepared or not, we got a kill bar, kill key card, we're going to use it. Let's go. If you guys enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and click that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, please click, click that subscribe, subscribe button, guys. It's been a long day. See you guys next time. Cheers.